Today, good morning. Today is Monday, October 10th, 2022. I'm James. And I'm Harper, and here are today's top headlines. Did you know that today is a U.S. holiday? No, it's not Halloween yet, but it's an important day to learn about, and ONN has got you covered. And last week, baseball player Aaron Judge smashed a new American League home run record. Let's go to Vera with today's lunch. Hello, this is Vera with the lunch. Today's lunch is cheeseburger with baked beans and Doritos, Cool Ranch Doritos or Nacho Doritos, entree salad or grilled cheese, brunch kit, baby carrot, side salad, fruit and milk. Thank you. Back to Harper. Thanks, Vera. Today is Monday, October 10th, and our calendar says that it is both Columbus Day and Indigenous People Day. Columbus Day, which honors Italian explorer Christopher Columbus's arrival to the Americas in 1492, has been a U.S. federal holiday since 1971. However, the holiday celebrated every year on the second Monday of October. Has always been con- this holiday has always been controversial, which means that many people have big feelings about the holiday. Many historians argue that Christopher Columbus did not discover the continent since native people have been living in the Americas long before he arrived. Some U.S. states like Oregon, Iowa, Nebraska have never recognized Columbus Day. Hawaii rena- renamed it Discoverer's Day in 1971. While South Dakota changed it to Native American Day in 1990, in 2021, President Joe Biden became the first U.S. president to issue a presidential proclamation marketing Indigenous People Day. On that day, that used to be called Columbus Day. It encouraged Americans to celebrate the day that used to be called Columbus Day. It encouraged Americans to celebrate many Native American nations that called this continent home long before 1492, and to acknowledge the complicated history on the second Monday in October. And also, New York Yankees baseball player Aaron Judge hit his 62nd home run of the season on October 4th at Choctaw Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Judge now holds the American League record for the most home runs in a single season, which puts him ahead of the previous record record set by Roger Maris in 1961. <clears throat> in my book, it's just another day, Judge said. Barry Bonds holds the record for most home runs in the MLB, Major League Baseball, with 73, but, but he is widely suspected to have used performance-enhancing drugs, something he denies knowing he did. Although the Yankees went on to lose that game, Aaron Judge is on his way to a memorable season. And now to Cameron with today's weather. Thank you, James. And today is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 76 and a low of 64. And I can't wear my jacket because it will get green screened out. Anyways, this segment is over. And don't forget to stay tuned for Meet and Oracle Monday up next on ONN. Today is Meet in Orca Monday. Here are today's clues. Hint number one, they have two children. Hint number two, they have a dog named Hunley. Hint number three, they like the Gamecocks. And hint number four, their favorite drink is coffee. Can you guess who our mystery orca is? Come back tomorrow for the answers.
stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, in the visible liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Let's, w let's, let's wish a happy birthday to the following workers. The weekend birthdays were... Ever Rose Halls Mister and two A Brecken Troy and K S Parker Perty and C D D Dominic Free Fred Fried Ch Huh Friedrich and four D and the birthday today is Pedra Castron in 4S. Please come to the library to get birthday pencil. Now time for our birthday joke. What do cats like to eat with their birthday cakes? Mice cream. <laughs> This week, our new se segments may be a little shorter than normal, but that's because we've got some special segments all about our upcoming fun run. Stay tuned after ONN for exciting fun run content. Remember, this Wednesday's Picture Day. I'm James for ONN. Have a wonderful day. And I'm Harper from ONN. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Series of complex puzzles. But one wrong move and. Wait, me! Whatever's inside gets locked away forever. Grandpa once told us about them. That's it! The puzzle box probably holds the treasure secret location. What are we waiting for? Let's watch the first dock. You hear that sound? It's not thunder. It's the sound of the Atlantic Ocean crashing into the rocky cliffs of Maine. Here at Thunder Hole, the sea can spray as high as 40 feet. Welcome to Acadia National Park, located primarily on Maine's Mount Desert Island. This place has it all. Woods, mountains, lakes, and of course, the mighty ocean. Each year, over two million visitors come to explore the park's rocky cliffs, rare beaches, windy carriage roads, and 120 miles of epic trails. The French explorer Samuel de Champlain gave Mount Desert Island its name in 1604 after crashing his ship into the rocky shoals. Over time, the island became a home to a wide variety of hardy New Englanders. And later, the land was donated to the government and became known as Acadia National Park, America's first national park east of the Mississippi River. Okay, in the brush, but it's got a big body. Maybe a buffalo? Kind of looks like a rhinoceros. In the wildlife park. You never know. <laughs> Our adventurers are back. <laughs> Welcome to, to the Booster Ranger, Ranger Station. Station. Ranger Sarah here. Ranger Johnny here. Now adventurers, if you and your family registered on your mybooster.com page last night, raise that hand up high. Okay, I see you all out there. Nice work. Ranger Johnny, should we tell our adventurers what the plan for tonight is? Man, Ranger Sarah, I thought you'd never ask. The plan for tonight is to share your mybooster.com page with number one, 
a favorite relative. Ooh, and Kate. Number two, a neighbor. Lisa Smith. Number three, a business. Judy's Jog and Dog Walking Service. Number four, a person from a different state. Michelle from North Dakota. And number five, a local restaurant. Marcianelos. The best pizza, hands down. Uh, hands down for sure. Mm. Well, that's the sharing plan. And with the sharing plan, you now know all the people you can share your MyBooster.com page with. And now it's time for another film from the Grand Land Adventure. Oh, you might as well hit play. Hold up. So you're telling me all we have to do to find the treasure is just watch these documentaries Grandpa made about a few national parks? Yeah, but it's a little more complicated than that. Grandpa said each park taught him a different character trait. So after we watch each documentary, we have to figure out what the park represents. And then what? <laughs> Beats me. But maybe it has something to do with what's in that puzzle box. The what? An ingeniously designed box that can only be opened by solving a series of complex puzzles. But one wrong move and... Wait me! Whatever's inside gets locked away forever. Grandpa once told us about them. That's it! The puzzle box probably holds the treasure secret location. What are we waiting for? Let's watch the first dock. You hear that sound? It's not thunder. It's the sound of the Atlantic Ocean crashing into the rocky cliffs of Maine. Here at Thunder Hole, the sea can spray as high as 40 feet. Welcome to Acadia National Park, located primarily on Maine's Mount Desert Island. This place has it all. Woods, mountains, lakes, and of course, the mighty ocean. Each year, over two million visitors come to explore the park's rocky cliffs, rare beaches, windy carriage roads, and 120 miles of epic trails. The French explorer Samuel de Champlain gave Mount Desert Island its name in 1604 after crashing his ship into the rocky shoals. Over time, the island became a home to a wide variety of hardy New Englanders, and later, the land was donated to the government and became known as Acadia National Park, America's first national park east of the Mississippi River. Now, one of the things that makes Acadia so unique and so thrilling is the large number of trails with ladders and metal rungs. Now, thanks to these ingenious designs, you can hike along narrow ledges and climb up sheer rock faces just don't look down. Now, one of the best places to explore Acadia is from the ocean. Ocean kayaking in Frenchman's Bay is an incredible experience. From your kayak, you can see seals, porpoises, bald eagles, and even humpback whales. Whether you're taking in the continent's first sunrise atop Mount Cadillac, or experiencing the legendary boom at Thunder Hole, you can't help but be overwhelmed by a sense of gratefulness. So what character trait does this park teach us? Okay, kiddo, so what character trait do you think Acadia is teaching us? Love of lobster rolls. <laughs> Grandpa said the park made him feel something deep inside. What did you feel when you watched it? I felt gratitude. Like thankfulness? Yeah, I'm just thankful that all this beauty and wildlife even exists. How is gratitude a shouldn't show for living a well-lived life? Gratitude is noticing and appreciating the things that we often take for granted. You know, like a beautiful sunset or a delicious meal and just the joy of being with friends and family. You gotta take a moment to reflect on how fortunate we are, even in the midst of challenges. But how do you live with gratitude? Sometimes gratitude is spontaneous, but more often I think we have to intentionally practice it. Start by slowing down and being really present and just 
paying attention to what's around us. And maybe even ask yourself, okay, right now, what are three things that I have to be grateful for? So, a king, you taught Grandpa how to live with gratitude. Not a bad place to learn it. Did you guys hear that? The puzzle box moved, and it's glowing. We're one step closer to finding that treasure. I wonder what park we get to visit next. Johnny, you know what I'm grateful for? What's that, Ranger Sarah? That we have a Grand Land Adventure cheer to do with these adventurers. We sure do. Should we do it with them? Let's do it. On the count of three. One, two, three. Grand Land Adventure. Nice. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Joy and I gotta head out and do some, uh... Gardening? Whoa, well, wait, wait, wait. We could start practicing gratitude right now. Oh, well said. Yeah. Let's think about three things that we're grateful for about... Gardening. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Number one, I'm grateful that we can garden out in the sun. Sunshine. Yes. Number two, I'm grateful for my strong arms that I can use to dig. And number three, I'm grateful that we can do it together. together. Well, farewell, farewell adventurers. adventurers.